Here we are, the Elite 11 Finals of Yogi Raw, joined by Paul Traw. Now, Coach, you got probably the most interesting story out about the entire coaching staff, as you were an actual quarterback camper in 2000. Thinking back to that time in your life, what did you think of when you came here as a 17-year-old? I was I was extremely um, thankful for the opportunity. I remember the I remember exactly where I was in my my house when my mom came up to my uh, room. I was doing homework or something, and we subscribed to Student Sports. And uh, I was going through a little bit of man, you know, I don't know what I really am doing, and is this all I am as a person? And um, it was after my sophomore year, and or no, after my yeah, after my sophomore year, and she showed me the article, and it was the first Elite 11. It was, guys, I still remember the name, Brock Berlin, Jeff Smoker, uh, Chris Ricks, um, and I was like, wow, that is the coolest thing that they would fly these guys out there, and it really wasn't a competition, more or less a camp with Coach Johnson, um, and then from that day forward, I set goal, my goals to, to be one of those guys, um, and, and by no means is it like it is now in terms of the competitive atmosphere. Um, back then it was you competed to be the best guy in your state, the best guy in your city, uh, climb up the recruiting boards of Prep Star and, and Tom Lemming and um, they selected you. Coach Johnson sat down with film and Coach Keldorf of Student Sports and they selected you and I was fortunate enough to get picked. When you now come to these camps as a coach, going through your playing career at college and, and seeing so many other young men go through the same path you did, what's something if if anything, in terms of advice to these young men, you make sure that you focus on that you pass down from your experiences as a former Elite 11 quarterback. I think that nowadays we've built up every stage of your career as what are you trying to do for the next stage, when, and that's great. You know, we, we have goals and we're all training to be the best so we can get to the next level. Um, what I always try and do is and get those guys that seem to be in this space simply. Um, wanting to just be to the next level instead of enjoying the process, enjoying where they're at, but not being fat and happy with just being a name on a roster. You know, just being one, one of 180 is good, but enjoying the process throughout while having the, the, the mentality that this is important, uh, this, is, this is the most important thing right now, and then when I get on that plane, I go home and I hang out with my family, that's the most important thing. So living in the moment, not getting too high, not getting too low. And we do a lot with the quarterbacks here. We train the mind, we train the soul, clearly we train the arm and the, and the body and the football mechanics. What from this week really jumped out at you in terms of something that we gave as a staff to the student athletes as a life lesson? I think as a father of three, three girls, um, I, I really resonate a lot on the personal side with Coach Dilfer uh, and, and his three girls and I asked it more I'm asked Trent more advice with that than probably <laughs> learning how to throw a banging post um, I was really happy to hear from Alexis Jones um, she came in and there was no fluff and I, I really appreciated that um, because I, I as a father you know ten years from now I'm, I'm not I want the, the dude right I want to be I want my daughters to date the guys that are you know great people uh, whatever sport they play or whatever they play music or whatever the case may be but I want them also to look after my daughters and, and if we're not uh, creating men in this space then we're missing the mark. I love it. Well if there's one element that you love the most from your experience as mm -hmm. a coach being on this Little Lemon staff outside of asking advice for about your three daughters, right. wh what do you love from being around the fellas? Because th these are the best in class in terms right. of the quarterback position. I, I love seeing the, the highest ranked guys still be in awe of the guys that are at the collegiate level. So last year it was seeing those guys interact with Johnny Manziel and Taj Boyd. Um, and then I also like, you know, I volunteer, I, I willingly volunteer to be the babysitter for the counselors that come. And they don't need babysitting. I mean, they, they are great guys. They, they, they're mature beyond the years, but just to be a fly on the wall. Um, and I think um, having this opportunity, I look at it as a second chance to take advantage of uh, being in a QB space that can impact the lives, not only of these high school kids, but the college counselors. Um, and because I know if I make an impact on them, 
it's just going to carry over wherever they go. So Coach Palmer talks about all the time, your platform, how big is your platform? Understanding that that role is maybe limited here within this space, doing my job, but when I go home, my platform's this much bigger. Um, so I really enjoy just catching them before they're really, really big time, because I, you know, I say to myself, I'm driving Bryce Petty to the airport. I'm probably never going to meet Bryce Petty again, but this one opportunity that I have, I want to maybe try and speak a little bit of wisdom and get some from him as well. And lastly, you've been around Trent for a while. Mm -hmm. You're a quarterback as well. Very talented one. How do you feel about the silhouette we have here? I mean, it's QB centric. Right, do you, do right. you like uh, the mechanics here? Any coaching tips you'd like to pass along to coach? I think the camera angle maybe be maybe. Oh, it's the camera angle. Well, yeah, I think yeah, the okay. camera angle maybe giving it a, uh, not doing it justice because I think he's maybe this way because mm. he does have a tight arm his arms 45 you know so he's throwing like an out route to his left right right, like right. That, right i think he's, he's course, turned he at the top banging that rhythm right all right uh, well, we're gonna find out coach we're gonna ask you what route did you throw in this image that's coach it better be an out route it better be an out route all right Thank this you. is paul i'm yogi everything qb centric one of the greatest coaches we have because you've been through the process man we appreciate the insight thanks a lot